Yo, 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 it's Overflow. What's going on, you guys? How are you guys? Doing today, I hope that you guys are doing good. This is a video that I've been teasing for a super long time. I think that you guys will definitely enjoy it. Being a gamer, being a YouTuber, being somebody in here, I definitely uh, consider myself to be an avid sneaker collector, and I have been since I've been like a little kid, man. And before this video starts, you guys are gonna enjoy it. Do me a favor though, drop a like on it. Also, big shout out to elu.gg. They actually hooked me up with a couple pairs of these shoes. I appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys check them out. I'm gonna play the intro and then we're gonna get right into the video. Uh. Welcome to eLoot.gg, the number one place to earn cash by watching videos and taking surveys. Withdraw your earned points to cryptocurrency, PayPal, or Steam wallet codes. eLoot.gg. Alright you guys, so if you follow me on Twitter and or on Instagram, then you'll know and you should if you don't. Everything is just at overflow, I would really appreciate that. You'll know that I've been teasing this for a long time, my sneaker collection. It's something that I've wanted to do. Now that I think about it, I probably should have done it, you know, a couple months ago because I actually sold off about a couple thousand dollars worth of my shoes. So my sneaker collection right now is not at its peak like it was, but I am going to build it back up. I think that I want to do like... This is going to be my 2019 sneaker collection video, but I think later on, maybe in summer, maybe towards the end of the year, I'm gonna do another sneaker collection because I'm planning on adding a ton of new items to this little collection here. And I've seen a ton of sneaker videos. I watch a bunch. I will say this, I am planning on moving pretty soon, so I have not bought the whole like sneaker, like put all the things in the little tiny plastic drawers. I haven't done that, I'll be honest. I probably should because I have, too many shoes right now but once i get this youtuber house started i'm gonna i'm gonna get a whole just wall dedicated to shoes i'm really really excited about that but i've seen people do it like the collection videos like that um i know that birdman does his collection videos by like just placing the shoes by the box or whatever i think what i'm gonna do is something a little bit different i'm gonna give each shoe like 30 seconds i'm gonna hold it up for you guys maybe tell a little story if it's sentimental to me i would guess that i have about 40 pairs of sneakers right now my thing that i've always enjoyed collecting is uh is sneakers it's just something that i like also G Fuel use code flow. I would appreciate you. Everybody knows what these are, obviously. We got Yeezy 350 Zebras, relatively new. I think that um, when these, before they got restocked, I think they were selling for like 600 bucks or something like this. They just got restocked, so the prices are way better now. I think they're selling for like three, 400 right now. But really cool pair. I actually just recently got these. I planned on getting them a long time ago, but I actually got them with the restock. I meant to buy another pair of Belugas. I just haven't got around to it yet, but the Belugas, are probably one of my favorite pairs as well and obviously they're they're a great shoe especially with the restocks on all the yeezys the belugas are one of the few pairs that haven't been restocked next pair we got is the alexander wang b-ball edition these shoes right here i feel like are super underrated i actually unboxed these for you guys in a gamestop video a while back i think when i picked these up these were like 350 awesome shoe alexander wang is i believe a new york designer and i gotta say i love a, a ton of his stuff the bottom of the shoes is, is really cool to me, obviously it's dirty right now, but these have kind of turned into my um, my uh, like nightclub fancy sneakers in a way because I feel like you can pull them off if you're actually in someone nice clothes and you got a button up t-shirt on, they're designer shoes, right? So I feel like you can definitely pull these off in a more upscale environment. So I actually have worn these. If you ever see me, you know, at, at a club or somewhere where I'm supposed to be an adult, I'm still rocking, I'm still rocking sneakers, I should probably wear more fancy dress shoes, but these are the ones. These are it for me. I actually love these. Next pair, we got Turtle Doves. Everybody kind of knows classic shoe right here. We got the Turtle Doves, a classic sneaker from Kanye West. One shoe that I really want that I don't have is the Chocolate 750s. I don't have a pair of 750s yet. And I know that I know that people are gonna come out and be like, dang, you got Yeezys, so you're just a hype beast. No, I'm, I'm actually a, a regular sneaker collector. I think one of the next ones I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you I'm gonna do it early. I'm just gonna show you guys the grail of all my shoes. My personal grail will be the next shoe that I show you after this one. <sighs> Nike Air Commands. This shoe is like a boot, all right? The Air Force Commands. These things are absolutely gigantic. And I love, these things are beat and I don't know, I don't think that they have, I think they're just kind of an older dope shoe. They were in the movie White Men Can't Jump, the, the Billy Hoyles, the white version of these was in that movie. I, I like the black version a little bit better. These are awesome though. I really dig the super duper high top 
of these. I feel like with the styles now, everything's kind of a low top shoe for the most part. The most part. Whenever I get a shoe that has a super high top like this, I used to play basketball a lot and I always wear super duper high tops and this shoe for some reason, is just really cool to me. I feel like it's like a space boot. I told, ooh, it just started raining outside. Well, I think this shoe came out in like 2000, uh, I wanna say it was 06 or 04. This is, so it was either right when I first was going into high school or well, I think it was 06 actually. This shoe came out in 06 for sure because I was already in high school when this shoe dropped and it's a, a sneaker that I wanted and there was this dude that would always like break dance like this little Asian kid that had a pair break dance super hardcore and he had a pair of these but the resale value on these got insane I think these were up to like 700 when I bought them and I just I never had the money to afford them and then of course like we did we did YouTube we did a couple cool things and I ended up being able to buy a pair of the Nike Dunk Three Bears collection the Mama Bears some would argue that this is a very ugly, um, this is a very ugly color and so on and so forth. But I personally like the pink, the watermelon, green, I'm digging it. That thing inside is super dope. If you guys can see the, uh, see if you guys can see that little, little bear in there. But these are probably my favorite pair of shoes. And I was just lucky enough to find a pair of these. And um, yeah, man, I, I, I like these so much that I've only wore them like less than five times just because I always want to bring them out on like special occasions to me. My favorite pair of shoes right here. These, these are insane, man. Uh, next pair of shoes, Bape NMDs. As you guys can tell, these things are super duper beat. Absolutely gross. They're my gym shoes. This shoe right here is actually, it's, it's half, of, half of a meme. If you guys don't know, these are boxing shoes. I wore these shoes specifically when I thought, I think that I should really like hang these up in some sort of like box or trophy type thing with my gloves and with like some memorabilia. I wore these in the Logan Paul versus KSI boxing event when I fought against FaZe Sensei. These were the exact boxing shoes that I wore. I think I got these like a week before I went out to England to fight. So I've only worn them a couple times. It's crazy to think that the very first boxing fight I ever had, uh, tens of millions of people saw me get beat up. <laughs> yeah, we're supposed to get that rematch, MMA, little jujitsu, a little bit of a uh, chokehold and stuff. Pretty cool. EQT 9317s, bro. These are an Adidas shoe, and these are probably, as of right now, I think this is my oldest pair, kind of, I think that these were $300, $400 when I got them, um, right around there. So this is my oldest pair of actually like expensive shoes. I just love this pair of shoes so much. One of my favorite pairs, the pink part on the back is one of the coolest things. This inside right here, I've worn these so many places, man. If you guys have seen me at, at uh, events or conventions or whatever, there's a 80% chance that this was the shoe that I'm wearing just because I wear this literally everywhere <laughs> it is it is getting so beat though that i almost feel bad but it's still it's still a top shoe for me i'm gonna buy a brand new pair of these actually because that's how much i like them the, and probably the comfiest shoe ever there is a tie between three shoes for comfiest pair of shoes ever between this shoe the yeezys the v2 yeezys obviously right and um the next shoe that I'm going to show you. Okay, so this shoe might surprise some people. It's not like a crazy resellable shoe or anything like that. It's just a sneaker that I really liked, that I thought was kind of cool. It's extremely comfy. It's tied for me with Yeezys and the EQTs. The Puma Hybrid Rocket. Really cool, interesting colors, right? The other ones that they had was like black and red or black and gray. Uh, I went with the blue just because this was the most interesting looking of all of them. And this right here has to be some of the comfiest material like I think that this might be comfier than boots you guys don't have a pair of these these are super cheap like hundred and twenty bucks or something so comfortable they come in different colors this one's kind of weird and obviously like I told you guys I'm a big fan of weird looking shoes so boom got it this was actually the first sneaker that I got back that I got when I got back from uh from the fight out in out in uh, Manchester I got back I was just walking, saw these, put them on. The Nike Gatorades right here from the Gatorade pack. This thing just is straight purple. This little logo right here. I picked up the purple ones because I like purple Gatorade. I like purple shoes. Story about this, quick story. I tied these so tight because I actually got invited out to a NBA online influencers game, right? Online celebrity game. I got to play 
for the NBA, signed a little contract with them, got featured on their YouTube channel. I wore these there. I tied them so tight that even right now, like, I haven't worn them since that game just because I don't feel like loosening them up because they're that tight. I don't know if I'm lazy or what, but I still think that these are a really cool shoe. For me personally, it's obviously too much purple. I pretty much just got it. It also came with a really cool Gatorade towel. The Gatorades, there we go. Fun fact, I dropped one assist during that NBA game. It was like, boom, and some dude came up and dunked it. It was wild. Ugliest Yeezys that you will ever lay your eyes upon. The Super Moon Yellows. Why did I buy this shoe? I'm not entirely sure, but I will say two things. One, it's very comfy. And for me, one thing about the Yeezys, like these Yeezys, is not how they look aesthetically because I don't think it's a cool shoe, all right? Let's just put this out there to everybody. Nobody thinks that this is a cool looking shoe, right? Nobody's like, look how dope and sick and popping and sicko mode, is that what the kids say? This shoe is, nobody says that. But what I do think is that this shoe is very unique, right? So the, um, the, the different stuff on it, it's almost like to me, it's not wearing a shoe on your foot, it's more like wearing a little artistic piece on your foot. It's like a little, a little baby Picasso for your foot. It's not gonna be the most beautiful thing. It's not gonna be super crazy on the, on the, it's not gonna be visually appealing, but it is going to be unique and something that people are like, what, what is that? And that's why I got it. I also got it because super moon yellow sounds, sounds pretty cool. Nike Dunk, I'm a big fan of Nike Dunks. If you guys couldn't tell by the fact that the mom bears are literally my favorite shoe of all time. These are the Marty McFlies. Loosely based on the Back to the Future character, Marty McFly. If you guys couldn't tell, I think that these are awesome. The inside is very cool, if you guys can see that. And the bottom of this shoe was like a really, really cool like blue, but it was like a really cool shade of blue before it got dirty. I wish that they maybe brought that up higher on the sole. That would be really cool if you could have seen that there because that shade of blue was really dope, but obviously it gets instantly dirty. Still a really cool pair. This is the Turtle Dove 2.0. It's a fake shoe that I got for a video. Pretty cool. And also it was a hilarious video that got like a quarter million views. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, I was excited about it. This is a real Yeezy. Um, dang, dude, the resale prices on these were like 800 bucks for my size until they got restocked. Now this shoe has dropped in value tremendously. And I still have to say this right here is probably my favorite Yeezy. Um, simply, and even, it's not even the fact because there were people who liked the Yeezy because it was extremely expensive or whatever. Yes, it's a cool thing when you have a, a unique thing that not a lot of people have. I think that's very cool. But just as Yeezy, as far as Yeezys go in general, they're all ugly, all right? So my favorite one is the ugliest one, the semi-frozen yellow. This right here is the coolest Yeezy to me uh, just because I like strange shoes and this has to be one of the strangest shoes I've ever seen. I, I really feel like I'm, I'm the gamer with, with the most heat in his sneaker collection. Uh, hello, Rice Gum. You're not considered a gamer, bro. I sold the Belugas, the Blue Tints, and the Reverse Belugas, and my Shattered Backboards, which blows my mind because those are the only sneakers that haven't restocked my heart. But I'm still, I'm still, I'm gonna buy them. I'm gonna replace them in my collection because I needed new ones anyway. I have worn those ones so much. The funny thing about Yeezys is that. For me, when I first got a pair, I was like, you know what, I don't want to wear these too often because, you know, I want to keep them nice and all that, they're expensive shoe. I think I, when I got the Belugas, they were like 900 bucks. But then once I started wearing them, they were so comfy that they ended up being like my daily shoe. So I literally like, I wore the Belugas everywhere. I was in Orlando at an event with them, fell in this huge pile of like water and mud because it had been raining out. I was wearing the uh, Beluga 2.0s, the reverses. I was wearing those last time I went to New York with Keemstar. I was, those are the only shoes that I brought. And I was literally wearing them like in the snow. So yeah, I pretty much beat those. The Poison Lows, they're not a super expensive shoe. I think that these were actually super duper cheap when I picked them up. Once again, I just really like Dunks. And uh, I just think that this is a cool color combination and they're just like some chill, fat SB Dunk shoes. We got the Pirate Blacks. The Yeezys, these were actually featured in one of my videos called Fan Sends Me $2,000 Shoes in the Mail or whatever. So yeah, pretty, pretty dope. I got the Moa of the Kiwis, bro. The, <laughs> these sneakers right here are actually really super 
I like these a lot. A lot of people don't like them. A lot of people prefer the Wave Runners. The Inertias that are dropping soon are actually also really dope. But I gotta say that this right here, uh, it's an ugly, ugly, bulky, nerdy dad shoe. But I actually like it. This is this is really cool, really comfortable as well. And little story about this shoe, I actually wore this shoe out to TwitchCon when Phase Tifu and Phase Cloaksy won like 700 grand or something like, or Nate Hill, Phase Cloaksy, Phase Tifu all won like 700 grand and we partied at the Cloud House and for like a week I just, I only had these shoes with me and I kept getting compliments because they had just dropped and I just got them and it was, it was super dope. We were there with like Block Boy and Diplo. I think Trippy Red had been there. I think Ugly God was there but I didn't see him at all. Um, which was interesting. We went to like Tana Mojo's party in Bella Thor's. It was so like I have really cool memories with this shoe in specific, which is awesome. I was talking to Banks and literally, I, like Banks came up to me and he's like, "Yo, what up, over? I throw a dope party." He's like, "I know how to throw a party, right?" And I was like, "Yep." And that was like the only time I saw him the whole time I was there, which was hilarious. Good memories with this shoe right here. Really, I have so many shoes that there's no reason to show you all of them because a lot. Like, I would say half of them are just regular shoes, like 150, 200 bucks. I'm showing you guys the important shoes. I'm showing you guys the shoes that have a little bit of story behind them. Oh boy, my favorite pair of Jordans. Jordan 1's Purple Court. These are awesome. Recently released, picked them up. Absolutely love this pair of shoes. I had the Shattered Backwards, and um, the Shattered Backwards were great. I'm gonna get another pair of those. Those are probably my second faves if I had to pick, but these right here, Purple's my favorite color. These top the list for me. SNES Van Super Nintendo. It says game over on the bottom. When you put both the shoes together, it says game over. Uh, these are cool to me just because I got these before I went to my uh, very first like Call of Duty event. And as you guys know, I, I come from like Call of Duty, the Call of Duty community, and I have beat these things pretty much, they're dead, but <laughs> I have some good memories playing paintball in Nuketown with these, getting invited to crazy events by Activision. So this is a really, sentimental pair of shoes to me another sentimental pair this right here i don't even know what these these are the infrareds the jordan one infrareds let's just go with that simple shoe not that expensive you can get from any retailer there's like chocolate on it oh that's gross i wore these shoes to england for my fight they definitely pop a little bit and they're not super expensive and i knew that when i was in england we were gonna be doing some crazy stuff. The weather over there is kind of gross. I stepped in a million puddles. I spilled drinks all over these when we, like, we went out and we, me and Faye Sensei, we went out and we partied that night after the fight. And I gotta say, there's at least 37 English drinks spilled on this shoe. Just a sentimental shoe to me. Man, love it. Mwah. Yeezy Nike Red Octobers. Street value of $7,420. This is the final shoe that I'm gonna show you. The Pigeon Poop Nike Dunks. I've had these since uh, I got out of high school, which is crazy. And uh, these things are beat, but there was a time in my life when I had no money and uh, these were a gift and they were the only shoes that I wore for like a long, long time. And you can tell just how, from how incredibly beat these things are. They're like falling apart on the inside. This other shoe, especially, <laughs> look at that. This is like the only shoe I wore for the longest time, man. And uh, I still love them. I, I just, I don't even, they're falling apart, man. I say this shoe just for last. It's kind of like a crazy. It's pretty crazy, man. I, I, it's insane to go from like that being my only pair of shoes. All right, well, my camera battery died, but uh, charged a little bit. We're gonna finish the outro. I hope that you guys definitely enjoyed it. The sneaker collection video is something that you guys have been wanting for a while. I hope that it was somewhat thrilling to you guys. I'm not sure what that is, 10, 15, 20K worth of shoes. I don't really know, but either way, I still have a ton more that I could show you, but none of them are really as important. These are like the, the main important ones, right? I got some other ones that are 80 bucks, 200 bucks, or whatever, ton of those. But these are the shoes that had like a lot of sentimental value or actual value that I think that if you're into sneakers, you would have liked it. I hope that you did enjoy I have a whole bunch of stuff that I'm hoping to add to my collection this year and by the end of the year or you know maybe even sooner i'll be doing another sneaker collection video a hundred thousand dollars worth of sneakers a little bit different a little uh, taste of my personal life i seen face sensor do one of these his was pretty dope too if you guys haven't seen his check his out love that dude uh drop a like hope that you guys enjoyed also let me know what your favorite pair of shoes is what your favorite pair for my collection is and 
who you think has one of the best collections on YouTube. And you know what? You can name sneaker YouTubers, but I prefer it if you name somebody who's like a random like YouTuber or a gamer or something. Just somebody who collects shoes as a hobby, not as a job. Because some of these dudes that literally like, if you have 500,000 subscribers and you do sneaker videos, I know that you got heat and I know that companies send you hella shoes, bro. Just like I, that's like me doing a controller collection video. That's not fair. I get sent controllers. It's not, it's not that. It's, you're cheating, bro, <laughs> but I hope that you guys enjoy that. Oh, also, uh, one last thing to make the video a little bit fun. You know I had to do it. Two pairs in this collection are fake. Which ones are they? I got them for some videos. If you want to look through the videos, you'll find them or whatever. But let me know, okay? I want you guys to guess which ones they are. I think that would be, I think that would be fun. But I am gonna go to bed and watch some Game of Thrones. Obviously, this thing has been paused for like years. So, um, it's raining out. I'm gonna hop in bed. Take a nap, watch this, love y'all.